hi guys good morning good morning good morning welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to my channel you're tuned into the rose family channel i'm the beautiful rose welcome 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 guys i've been up and about this morning took the kids to school well i only took angela to school this morning till not feeling herself look at my birthday thing still in the background i have to take it down he took down one but not the other but anyway do it later um yeah so i've done the school run and took the shane where he needs to be as well and then i had to go and do had my car look at um yeah so i did all of that and then do some shopping and came back so i'm going to do a bit of haul with you but just like saying like you know always discussing sometimes stuff that's going on but i want to highlight some of the positive stuff because i went to have my car look at today and you know some people would have look at it and then tell you oh you you have to pay this that and that thank god you know there's good people about here i've, I've mentioned it as well there's lots of good people as well because comparing if i'm gonna like compare um there's lots of good people um this is the most area that i lived in and i find the most peace in my life so far so just wanted to point that out the guy at the mechanic you know it's not the first time i've been there he looked over the car kind of told me a few things and said oh, there's nothing to worry about but just keep an eye because there's um the eye light keep coming on and um said just keep an eye but he just looked at it put water whatever it needed to go in there and it didn't charge me a pound so there's lots of good people it's only sometimes i haven't mentioned it even you know i mentioned in the future but there's lots and lots of good people that will help and um, show you, point you in the right direction and give you support and stuff like that in in this area. Um, yeah, guys, so I'm just about to make my kids some bacon sandwich, bacon rolls. But um, let me show you what I did pick up today in Tesco's. Do a little haul with you guys. Yeah. So, got Tilly ice cream. Uh, Tilly, you wanna, might want to put your ice cream in the freeze, freezer because it's feeling a bit soft. Okay. Um, some orange juice. Thank you. Yeah. Give that to Ramara. I got some, yeah, Lucas Aid. Um, got some Lloyd's Grossman sauce. Got some pasta, two of those, got some butter beans, so I'm just like really trying to think up and do my best with the shopping so that kids can keep nice and fed and healthy. That's some vinegar and some more butter beans there, got eggs. But they were doing an offer on these, so I've got three packets of these. Got some yogurts, Angelo. Got some frozen veg. This, this packet is a mixed one. I find out me and Tilly quite like the the peas. Just drop something there. Um, so got got a packet of those as well. Um, Tilly, please come and help me, like, pack these out in the freezer. Got some yogurt for the older children. Got some coleslaw. Um, do you want to put them back in the bag? I'm, I'm doing, like, a little haul, so you can put these ones back in the bag. Got some water. Trying to make sure Ramar drink a lot of water. All of us, really, but... Mostly I got it because of him. And we've got some monkey nuts. We've got some... What do you call these things? Um, rice cakes. Well done, Tilly. It didn't come to me at all. got two packs of these because Angela liked that flavour. And these are the rolls. I'm going to do the kids some for breakfast. Just Tilly and Ramar. And maybe myself. I'm gonna oh this is for Angelo. It's like it's like cocoa pops, but this one is cool. 
Oh, it, is, it does say Coco Pops anyway. It's a loop one. It's got a bit of tissue. Tiny tissue. Um, do the frozen ones first, silly thing. In this bag, we've got chips. got some more nuggets in there. And some chicken. I'm not going to take it out because um, Tilly's trying to unpack them. And it's a bit difficult when I empty everything out. So, you guys, you kind of get the gist of it. Got some surface things like cleaning to wipe down and a bit of fruit some peach grapes in this bag we've got some more like seasoning this is quite good mackerel will normally do noodles and chuck some in there um i've got some black beans i'm gonna check these out because normally i buy the kidney beans but i've just decided to try these um yeah more butter beans some honey what else like i said i picked up some seasoning like ginger garlic granules and stuff like that and um i'm trying to change over angelo's drink because he drinks a lot of hot chocolate even though this is a chocolate one as well i'm gonna try him with the horlicks and i think that's more or less the little shopping i picked up at tesco's hey guys Actually, just come over the park with um, Duchesne and Angelo. Duchesne's gonna kick about the ball with Angelo. And we just, um, I'm kind of in the shade, people, because well, it's nice and sunny. I'll show you around where we are. This place is called Madrin. Duchesne used to play football up here sometimes. That's where we are. Really nice place. They even got a little park over here. So um that's what we're up to. We just bump into one Angelo a little classmate. Really nice. He um what do you call it? Is it when you is it raise eggs? Or oh, no raise chicken, but they lay eggs that he's he sell. <laughs> he said, Would you if I have some left, would you like some? I was like That'd be lovely of you, thank you. So I think he's probably going to change his shoes because he was in his wellies just walking with his dad. And maybe he's going to have a kick around with Andrew. Not that I've got to put him on camera, bless but Yeah, so that's what we're up to, guys. I wanted to do some stretch because Ramar was telling me about like trying to do some stretch and stuff like that. I want to try and start exercising, but let me show you what Angelo's up to. He's probably haven't start training him yet. I remember, Angelo, you can't keep doing what you're doing. You have to listen to Duchesne, all right? Huh? You have to listen to your brother, okay? Good lad, go on. You hear Duchesne operating like he's a coach. We're playing football, not handball. Kick it to me, so basically telling Duchesne, I'm telling Angelo not to use his hand to transfer the ball to him. Try it, try straightening your knees when you're touching your toes, Angelo. Straighten your knees when you're touching your toes. Just go as far as you can, just that's it. That was some good ball control there, Angelo. 
before I get the ball to me. Yeah, touch. Good. So when you're passing, the other foot's always right. Towards where your kick is. The other foot, your foot's just stuck. Guys, I've decided to do my own little stretch because um, I feel like doing my little stretches. Not that I know what I'm doing, I'm rusty at this. But yeah, I'm just going to do a little stretch. Doing my stretches. Right. Doing my stretches. Oh. I'm just doing my stretches in the park. Oh, right. <laughs> you all right? Okay, good evening. No, 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 no. Bro, come on, man. Get what about you? Okay, go have a drink. Guys, I came at the edge of the pitch to show you the view. There's like some nice views in Cornwalls when I tell you, you know, some really nice views. Let me show you guys what I'm seeing, like just overlooking over there, the fields and stuff. Okay. seen from where we are. I don't know if you guys can see over there we have like the cows and stuff in the fields. Yeah I just really decided to come and get some fresh air today with the kids, you know. Well only two of them was willing to come <laughs> so well, I'm really glad 
that um, I've come out side. Yeah, guys, I wanted to touch on a topic like, um, you know, human beings and them always bothered about like when they got a camera on them and stuff like that. Or if you're talking about them, like in a public form, you know, what they should be worried about is people that's talking about them behind their back, not people that talk openly about a situation. And speaking of camera, you know, in the UK, there's loads of camera that we don't even know that's there picking up their surveillance and stuff like any crime happen. Normally, sometimes they can actually use that for evidence and stuff. So we have camera all around us, you know, but yet people would be worried about my little camera. And like of all the various camera that could be around, there's even a bigger camera, which they should be worried about. The camera that is our Lord Jesus Christ that's watching us. That's the camera people should be focusing on and be worried about. Not my little camera and not what I'm doing to educate and highlight different people. Do you know what I mean? Like um, sharing my stories, um, documenting stuff so that it can help persons that's maybe going through that same struggle or similar struggles or somebody can um, relate you know we're living in a, a world now where it's very much social media orientated and sometimes when I watch other people's stories or you know people sharing their vlogs and stuff like that it really gives me insights that you know I'm not over here suffering by myself there's other people out there that's going through these things and similar things and they still fight and push through this is like you know social media can be not good and it can be good do you know what i mean it can be a, a disadvantage and it can be an advantage it depends on how persons may use it and i know like if the topic is on you you might not feel that great but just think for a minute that really what we should be focusing is how God see us, how we're living as human beings on this earth, what we're doing, what, what we're inflicting on others or what we're portraying or what we're saying and all of these things, you know. I know nobody perfect and I'm not out here acting as if I'm perfect. But, you know, always go with like the guidelines and treat people how I want to be treated. If people telling something about me and I know it's true, I might not feel great about it, but... At the end of the day, the truth is the truth in it. What are you going to do? So, I would say, focus on the bigger picture. Worry about what God's seeing. If you can't strip back yourself like how you see me sometimes and be completely transparent, there's, there's a problem there. There's a problem there. And if you're not willing, like, you know, to live your life in such a way that you're trying to do good in all areas and always trying to improve on yourself. Well, you know, these lot is at the... Um, they're, they're at the, the goal. They're doing some kick-ins in the goals. Yeah, if we, if we can't be mindful of what we're doing and we bothered about what people think of us instead of doing what's right and mindful of going along with the crowd but does that make the crowd right? Not all the time I'm afraid. Yeah so stuff like that to just like meditate and think I've been thinking about that a lot and thinking look at them look at them worried about my camera and I, when I say look at them I don't mean no one specific person I mean like people in general because even sometimes my children I pick my camera up they're there oh mom get the camera off me but really there's a bigger camera so I'm not singling out no one person I'm speaking in general format yeah there was a bigger camera and I remember back in the days when um I used to like go to church a lot back in London and I remember somebody used that analogy. Say if 
you was walking down the road and you have a TV on your shoulder and it was just showing your life on repeat, would you be happy with sharing that? Um, because you'd be more mindful of what you're doing and mindful of what you're saying and stuff like that. And um, another thing I would like to touch on as well, like people should be careful how they treat persons because when the treatment come back on them, they're not going to like it. They're not going to like it. You know, there's like literally so much going on, but you know, I'm not going to get up, take up my camera every day and focus on all of that side of stuff. You know, I'm going to focus on the positive. And um, yeah, I think I see Angelo friend coming. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little while again. Guys, I am back home off the road. I'll show you some stuff. We were kindly gifted some kale and stuff from Angelo's friend's dad. Um, Angelo's friend really, because um, he gave us two eggs, which was lovely of him. But obviously, it's Angelo's friend and he's him and his dad and family or, or um, got a lot I, I can't even say it. In the UK, they've got places where you have, where you grow things and probably raise chicken and stuff like that. It's called an allotment. Um, so we were kind of gifted some eggs, which I'm going to put aside so Angelo can have them. I'm probably going to boil them because that's what he likes best. Then we got some kale, which I'm going to enjoy because Angelo is not going to have the kales. It's not that good with vegetables. And um, I think I'm going to put them in here for now. So I'm going to wash them and make sure that I make good use of them before anything happens to it. It's like fresh kales off the allotment. And, oh, I can't remember what he said these are called, to be honest. <laughs> well, there's this, he said it's uh, similar to lettuce. So, they've got beautiful vines. So, I'm just going to wash it and probably cut that bit off and then cut off the rest. From what I was told to do. Some more here. How pretty are they guys? I hope you guys can see. How beautiful are they? So, you know. And then we've got some beetroot. We've got some potatoes. And we've got some um, new, look, small ones as well. Baby potatoes. We've got a few of peas. I'm going to chuck in the vegetable when I'm doing them and I'm not sure what these are called as well they look like baby core jets maybe I'm completely butchering what these are but um yeah that was so lovely of them so they came back to the park Angelo had a little bit of kick around what's wrong I was meant to pick some up a while ago I forgot um maybe we can use a bit of washing up liquid in there um so that's what i'm gonna be preparing a bit later i'm gonna really wash these and um cut them up i was even meant to be um buying some vegetable oil but i didn't end up buying them so i just probably put a little butter on there but what i did get at tesco which i'm gonna eat one now actually is these four roche and um, white Ice lollies or ice cream lollies. I'm sure I never tried one before, but and they've got in white chocolate and they've got it in milk chocolate also. How cute. How cute are they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Tastes really good. But there's, there's nuts in there. So I have to pick up um, some ice cream for the little kids that can't. This is not the ice cream, this is the baguette. So I've gone all British on you guys. It's a baguette. I copied that off Angelo's friend's dad as well. They're having baguette and bacon and I'm going to have bacon and baguette and sausages. So he inspired the baguette. I thought, you know what, let me try a baguette. I haven't tried one for ages. Let me try a baguette. And I also got this. This is what I got for the other ones. Children that can't have the for a reche as a little treat. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer. I don't know what to do fire. If I should just do some such I'm gonna find out if the kids are hungry. So I know Angela's going at his dad, so I'm gonna put away his egg. And when he come back tomorrow, I might boil him for his breakfast in the morning for school on from the Monday morning. Um so I'm gonna check with the kids. Oh yeah, and there's a little aid in the bag. And um on the little treats when I'm sitting in the room watching the movie or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put that bag away properly. But yeah guys, so I don't know if I'm gonna start with a sausage. It's probably just going to be me and probably Tilly that really will enjoy the veggies and oils. I might make it part of tomorrow's dinner, something like that. I'll see. So I might put the sausages in, but I'm going to go around and check what the other children feeling like if they're hungry, etc. But these are really good guys. Um, Guys, Angela came down not too long ago and said to me, Mom, um, he was eating some chocolate since he come back from the park. And he goes, Mom, all I want to eat next is some eggs. Because his dad is picking him up, but he said he wants the eggs, so I'm going to do them quickly for him, even if he has to take them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to fry the eggs. I literally got the saucepan on the, the fire. So I'm going to pop some oil in. It's a teensy bit of oil. And I'm gonna do this egg with a little bit of salt. So I'm break the eggs. Ooh. I'm gonna try and see if I can show you guys actually. Just yep. This is. One of the egg, and I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do the both of them. That's what the other one gave him. They're both quite pretty. eye to come out here. It's got quite curly quite quickly. So I don't know. Yeah. Let it set a little bit more on that side. Literally we bump into one of Angelo's friends Tilly. Really? And he's got um an enlightenment. And his dad brought back some bits for us, including these two eggs. Mm. Oh my days, I was meant to be videoing it on. Let me just <laughs> video it. Guys, I was meant to be videoing it just to show. Send it to his mate just to say. So. Hey Bailey, we've cracked the eggs in the pan. Angelo requested them, so I'm frying them now. Um, so as you can see, it's your egg, the white one, and 
the brown one and they're both there so I'm just gonna eat them I just popped a little salt on there and I'm gonna show you when he's eating them as well thanks again so much you're really kind because it was a little is um I'm gonna have to redo this again because I'm talking the story on there. <laughs> it was the actual the, the, is Angelo's friend offered saying, "Oh, do you wanna? Would you like some eggs?" And he, he told us about the eggs, and then his dad said, "I think they might be all sold off." And then he goes, "If there's some, because he was going down the elapments, I'm telling Tilly the stories, guys. If there's some, would you like some?" And we were like, yeah, that'd be lovely. And he come back with it. So let me just quit the video. I'm telling you. Hey, Bailey. So we got your eggs here. We just, I just cracked them in the pan. So it's nearly done now. I um, just want to say thank you so much again. You're really sweet and kind. And um, Angela requests them. So I'm making them for him. And I'll show you when he's eating up the yummy eggs. I mean, I'm even going to try a bit as well. Because it looks really good. Thank you again so much. Now let's see if I can get this little bit out. Yeah. Quickly turn it. I don't want it too overly done. breaking a bit guys you guys can't even see what I'm doing there's like eggs on the other side of the pan literally hold on I'll move it over in a bit I need, I need to let it sit on this side a little bit longer because it's falling apart a bit because that will let it I don't think the pan was hot, hot enough when I put it in there we go you guys can see it a bit better now and I'm going to break off a little bit of bread with some butter for Angelo, a little bit of baguette. And I really appreciate you all out there. I don't know if I said that prior. And all the love you showed me on my birthday vlog. Lots of love and blessings to you guys. And keep liking up the video and sharing it. And if you're not a subscriber yet. Please go ahead and do me that lovely favor of subscribing to my channel. Yeah, guys. Bye for now, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.